Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where we have to deal with Vaughn. Cannon fodder. Now this is new. Plenty of worms come up out of the ground here but not many of them are short with two legs. Come to make your fortune in the capital. A word of advice worms. Turn back while you've still got some gear to your name. Man at the gate. Arcadian, that's what it was. Like the, I thought the, the, his name was Arcadian, like a vulgar, and I was like, what? Come to buy information, or perhaps to sell a precocious girl. Knowledge is what makes this town works. Why, if I had a gill or a chop to spare, I'd make an offer for what you know right now. Oh, I believe in you. Stranded merchant. Can't even afford an airship back home to Rabanastre. I, I thought of going back through Sochin, but I hear some ancient worm lurked down there, and I don't much care to run under one of those. You think I could get away on these legs? Bah, I'm stuck here for life. Look, would you buy something to help a fellow out? Oh, you're probably not stuck here for life. I must to I'm containing the words of a long forgotten incantation in a language long dead. The diagram suggests a magic capable of destroying Ivalis. Was he really? <laughs> I haven't kept track. These are things I think I can just sell. Lumber? I, I just. There was one I was looking at. Yes, these. Used in magics and alchemy. Oh, yeah, and festering flesh. The yellow gemstone bearing the name Scorpio foretells the fruition of long-held plans. When shaken, the storm magicite releases an electrical charge sufficient to power a small airship. Wow, these fruits are 612. This bundle of feathers, what? I can't think of anything I need that for, so I'm selling them. A demon feather. Maggoty flesh. Yeah, I have so many. Balthier was like ripping maggoty flesh off of the enemies down there. I'm not. I'm not keeping those. This poor guy. Oh my gosh. He could actually do that. Oh my gosh. I just made so much money. A teleport stone. I do. I have it. When did I get one of those? Oh my gosh. What do you have? Oh, he doesn't have like freaking anything. But I also just ruined his all his chances of um ever getting out of here and making him pay me like thirty thousand gold for Gil. I think that's an interesting name. A vulgar is like, which it makes sense, right? This is apparently like the lowest of the low. And I liked what Balthier said, right? That the highest of the high and the lowest of the low keep their eye here. Or I think Arcades, like, the whole place, right? Where you can see the, like, vast class differences. See, this is one of those old definitions of, of empire or civilization, right? Where it's, like, mostly civilization, where it's, like, a vast difference in class structures. Old Arcades. These people, yeah, they all took their dreams up to the city and then was stripped away and fell back down. Rip. Yours is an unfamiliar face. If you're here hoping to go up to the city, best find yourself information that's like to interest the ardents and gentry. Word travels fast in this town, new information is born, grows old, and dies in a day. The Emperor's assassination, ancient history, my friend. Okie dokie, Smokies. Headed to the city, are you? Going to be a soldier like the rest of them? I wish you luck. You go up there, you die a little inside. Aye, a little party of goes cold and black, just like them senators. I'd stay down here if I were you. And there's probably some people, yeah, who are like, I don't want to sell my soul to that, you know? What can you catch here? Well, lots of things, I suppose. Depend on what you're fishing for. Me? I'm fishing for my past, for the fire of my youth. Same, bro. What? No, you cannot feed a family with the past, but you can keep yourself warm at night. No, well, uh, until you die, what's that grandma doing up there? Man, these people do not look good. That's the, uh, that's the problem with success. I don't think you understand what's like. These people, two kills. I was like, these people are sitting here next to treasure boxes. Yeah, there's not a lot of money going on. We 
no money, so don't even try to relieve us of it. I don't, I'm not looking for your money. Proper gent, S broker. I played many a man false in the city, so I did. Of course, I was being played just the same, though I didn't know it. I've ruined so many men, because all I can do now to hide myself here and hope I don't run into any former clients. What am I doing? Gathering tidbits of knowledge, that's what. I think I got bags of time like you oldies, because I ain't. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> what? I don't see many games nowadays. I don't think it's a thing much anymore to do the whole... What is that called when you... When you write in the accent... Phonetic. I think that... Is that really what it is? Where it's just like phonetic spelling? Of... Of words? Phonetic writing? Maybe just phonetic writing. Uh, what's his name? Not Albert Einstein. Uh, the guy who looks like him who's a writer. Oh my gosh, he's freaking the famous on the Missouri River guy. Oh, I need to... Not freaking... I'm gonna have all these things I'm looking up. Mark Twain. To me, he looks like Albert Einstein. Anyway, Mark Twain would write like that. Does this thing talk? It's an old but dignified foul. I was like, I killed a bunch of those in the ground in the underground. I feel bad. Brother, brother my only we bought them cockatrices when we had the chance. I would be rich men today, so we would. Brother, brother mine, cockatrice meat's not half as tasty as they would have you believe. This recent interest in them's a fad, you mark my words. No, our cockatrices are no, our fate's the same. Dreaming man and sensible man, that's who it was. Uh, the struggles. The struggles of the people. This reminds me of, like, so many books I've read, too, where you're, like, you're in the under city, essentially. Star Wars 2 is a big one. Proper gent, is that what you are? Oh my, I ain't a plain to see. I'm one of the many who tried to make it up in the city and fell back down here. If only I ain't signed that paper. Yeah, I was an ardent with the rest of them. All it took was one broker, one binding agreement, and nary a scruple of sight, for I find him all. Eh, you want some? I to get up to the city, up these stairs, and off to the west. Entrance up there, better be prepared, mate. Why are they all British? <laughs> Why do they all say what? <laughs> like, that's such a... Oh, funny, funny. Like, I know that's like the British thing, right? I'm like, what? <laughs> but it's just funny to see it spelled. Leave that girl alone. Yeah, no, I knew I knew, I knew it was harassing her. I'll bring you a diamond ring to prove it. Prove it. So soon, I oh, know, I knew. I knew it would come in time. Spare me the diamond. Just stay true. I'll be waiting. He ain't gonna do nothing. If he makes it up there, he's never coming back. And if he doesn't make it up here, he's gonna come back and start begging for money. That's how it always goes. Once she gets going, she don't have to go on. Oh my gosh! It's so British. What in the... Why are they pretty? <laughs> oh, I just, I just think it's so funny. Uh, I don't know if this is that Cockney. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that Cockney accent. That's supposed to be like a quote lower class British or whatever. You know, like the olden days. That's what people. I don't know. It might still be a thing. I don't know. But people are like look down on someone with a Cockney accent. I only hope her granddad says it straight. Ain't my place to worry about. I suppose. Sigh. And that's her granddad. Oh, he just turned very slowly. My granddaughter claims she's seen a great airship. Of course, I thought it was the Alexander, that being the biggest I know of, but her description. They have they've made a new, bigger airship now? Girl, what are you talking about? I want to know. They said go west. I, okay, I was like, I am going west. I was like, I'm just getting distracted. There's... What's this over there? Oh, you're a person. Okay, it's hard to see. Shady Seek. Boy, you there, you look like someone who knows a good deal when he says it. So I was about some moogles then. You're gonna sell moogles? That's slavery. I've got eight of them, just gonna take the lot. Oh my gosh, he's a slaver. Yeah, he seems a bit dodgy. He says he's a merchant, but I haven't seen him peddling anywhere since he peddles people. Sentient creatures. Or sapient? Sapient? Say both. Oh, well, you could, you're useful. When I get a bit bigger, I'm going to be a soldier there. That's often what militaries do, is try to target people in lower class incomes. 
neighborhoods and families and be like, yeah, we're gonna get you out of there, and they stick you in a war zone. But, you know, I guess it gets people out if, they, if that's what they're wanting. Let me help you! A seek there was, he sought to play Koopy Pooty. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that anymore. He said, I'll take you far away. A gourmet tour, he promised us, but all we add is curds and whey. Y you guys need to run! You need to run! I want, can I help them? I wanna, I wanna help them get out. Uh, the pride and joy of the clans come back with tales from the city. Oh. So how was it? Don't tell me you made a mint, didn't you? Not for all of us, I'll bet. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, er, I did set up a shop with the competition. Let your guard down for one moment, and the next door over will slip a knife in your ribs. How I've wanted to come home. He hasn't made any money. Glory be. I'm blooming hungry. <laughs> Me, mom, and me, grand keep telling me that sitting is best when you're hungry, but don't seem to be working for me. Maybe if I have a chat with me, mom, I'll forget about my empty belly. Or maybe not. I'm blooming hungry. Yeah, I mean, that's what else you can tell your kid, you know? Just don't move around too much, then it won't be so bad. But, yeah, that's always sad. Onward, wow, well, I mean, this is like, that was, that's in like an actual city. I'm stunned. Like, skyscraper city. It looks like it's made out of metal, too, not stone. Alley of muted size, how dramatic. Psst, I'll tell you a secret, but it says between us two, all right? I spied out my crabble just now. What wouldn't you like to know? was a bag of corn just thrown in a barrel it was with a hole like that that said it'll be my oyster and don't go tell what you just you're just telling me my grand's got me worried she keeps on talking about going to the city and making her fortune making her fortune she's old hey you know you're not dead yet are you talking like oh, are you the grand that wants to make your fortune Hey, me, I'm ready to begin a new life up in the city, that's for sure. I've been tricked out of all I own before, but this time I'll go prepared. Okay, okay, Grandma. I mean, I'm indefatigable Granny. You know, I believe in her. I believe in this Granny. Okay. Hello there. Mm, no, don't bother trying to talk to her. My sister's not stopped looking off into the distance since a fellow, a fellow went up into the city. Yeah, good luck with that. That's a bummer too. So that's the thing. Like, like that's this is this is what the other girl's gonna turn into. Someone who just stares off into the distance, lets her life pass her by, slowly fade away, and her family and friends all fade away like Bella's freaking swan, freaking just acting like a freaking moron because some man and it just while well, I watched a little bit of an analysis, like a therapist analysis of. Twilight recently, not all, not the whole thing, but I watched a good chunk of it, and I was like, yeah, yeah, well, yep, checks out. I'm still, still garbage, <laughs> you know. If it's your cup of garbage, like that's fine. Uh, I just hate that anybody would think that it's actually something to base any sort of real life relationship off because it's not. She's a moron. <laughs> I think you might not stare at me. I'm in the midst of a very important conversation with a girl. Oh, his name is Otto, and he's trying to get this, like, he's, like, obviously better dressed than she is. He's just trying to get laid with a girl that he's going to pretend to take her far away. Pluck the feathers from a live Chocobo if they thought it could make a profit on him. Listen, I just need, I need to go. I get it, everything's crummy here. You street here. Oh, you don't have anything? What? No. A point is to make. Listen, I just made so much money from selling maggoty flesh. I have no need. Aha. No need of your blase information trade. I don't know where I'm. I'm hoping I can. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, I've been distracted talking to the locals, like an ethnographer. 
Ethnography was what got me interested in anthropology and archaeology in the first place. And then when I realized I would have to talk to people extensively and potentially in ways that are a bit invasive sometimes, I was like, nope, I'm good. I can't eat, like one of my old jobs was like, oh, hello. Oh, they're like, we need you to bother customers like three times. Every time you see them, you got to say, you need anything, even if you've already asked them. And I just looked them straight in the eye and I said, no, I'm not comfortable with that. But I'd been there for like four years, so I could say that. <laughs> and then I quit very soon after. <laughs> but I couldn't even do it in that situation. Let me in. Yeah, I totally do. How do you get? Okay, I was like, ah, what the? <laughs> oh. Uh, that guy looks like somebody that Balthair has loved and, uh, or has duped. <laughs> this that guy definitely looks like a duped Balthair lover. <laughs> That's just what I think. <laughs> Yeah, look at that face. Oh, wonderful. Enter the street here. Now, why do I have to do it? Why do I have to do it? And I just talked to this guy. A pirate would do what a smile. Wouldn't want to sour his reputation. You know this guy? An old friend. He's a street ear, a peddler of rumor and hearsay by the name of Jules. He'd bite a gill given to him by his own mother and shave it by half to pay for her funeral. Sometimes an ear with a tight purse strings the order of the day, like when a pirate decides he fancies going up in the world. This, I don't, this guy, I want to punch him in the face. To the city? You know a way? In Arcades, knowledge is power. And power has a way of opening doors, boy. Now a fool will buy a sack of feathers for his pillow. But a wise man, he'll buy the whole stinking cockatrice and get his fill of meat in the bargain. Okay, yep, here you go. I have oodles of money, I don't care. Yeah, I don't- shut up. Stop being patronizing. Uh, do not ask me to go around asking for rumors. I just talk to a bunch of people for fun, which I haven't done in a while. Like, I haven't done that sort of thing where you poke the people in a while. Don't make me do it again! I did- oh, sweet! Okay, I'm already- I'm already ahead of the game! Did you hear something? Yep, yep, yep. Bags and barrels, eh? A boy would do well to bring that muscle to an end of me! Tell him what you've heard. Okay, is that it? Can I do that? Am I already ahead of the game? I would love that. Both I hear is so attractive. I have no idea who. I've seen an auto. Uh huh. What with the assassination? Oh my gosh, do I have to find this person? Oh, I took ire of the vulgar life. What was it? So, Rhine in Spain falls mainly on the train. That's what I'm thinking of. My fair lady. If only I had the right information. Well, your name's not Beasley, so you don't get the information. He's so provincial. Oh my gosh, people. Okay, so it seems like the whole city, not just down here, deals in, like, information. Alright, I'm cheating. Okay, he's near the bridge. Okay, I was like, I thought he had to, it sounded like he said he had to be close by. He was close by in the other direction of what I was doing. I can't, I don't know where I'm going. Who am I? Hi, it's Beasley. You're telling me you know the bloke was taking me coin? Oh, it was him, was he? Okay, bye. You told him as I told you. Good boy, I'm gonna kick this man in the teeth. I'm not sure what any of this has to do with going up in the world. Oh, witness the power of knowledge, my boy. See, it begins. Both the ears like, I have to make sure nothing goes freaking totally off the rails. Beasley's gone wild! 
Oh. Now's our chance. Thanks, Jules. I don't like him. <laughs> Never thought you'd go for such a meager price. A pirate should know that words are worth gale uncountable. Here's some words for you. The prodigal Bunan Bunansa's son come back to the Imperial Roost. See? Words of much value, those. Uh-oh. Bah! So he knows about the years past. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of freaking that show Arcane. Okay, I was like, what show? <laughs> oh, now we get to see the You're gaping like a fish out of water. Yeah, we get to see the country. I'm just checking boy. out the city. Even if it is the Empire. You've changed, Vaughn. You were always marching to your own beat, almost like you were impatient even, in a good way. Maybe it's because I've seen more now. Yeah, people change, Pinello. <sighs> Never imagined I'd ever come this far away from home. Maybe you should do a little change in Pinello. You can't stay the same forever. Hey, Lars is here in the city, isn't he? <sighs> he's a tough one. I wonder how he's doing. Oh! You always wear a soft touch, Vaughn. Yeah, he knows exactly what to say. You know what's amazing? I always thought I'd go my whole life without meeting people like the Princess or Lord Larsa. And here we are in the capital. I know. It's a little over my head sometimes. Good, Vaughn. You've come to understand the difficulties of serving royalty. Hey, I'm just along for the ride. That wasn't a complaint, was it, Bosch? <clears throat> right. <laughs> Let's get moving. Hey, don't change the subject. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ash smiling. That was cute. I love the relationships. Sometimes I feel like games like this, like RPGs like this, Bioware actually does this, where like, you can develop great relationships with your friends, like your companions, but they, they don't develop many relationships between each other, right? So seeing the like brother-sister relationship that Vaughn have, Vaughn and Penelope have is really good, and that Bosch is like kind of coming into his own personality here and working kind of putting himself back into his old shoes with a much different like perspective in a way like he's serving Ash you know and like he loves his country loves his people he loves Ash as like you know a knight loves the I, mean, I don't know if he loves her more but he loves her essentially like, like at least as like a knight loves his queen you know um, and then you have like the friendship between like uh, Balthair and um, Fran and like you have just Balthair like getting along and knowing exactly how to like talk to each person like in the group, like he, he's very influential on Ash, he's influential on Bosch, like he's influential on Pinello, like everybody, you know? I think the only one who could stand up to him is probably Fran. <laughs> but uh, I just love seeing all that. But Well, for once in a long time, I think that was an episode where I talked for the majority of it, so I think I'll go ahead and leave it here for now. Also, I was kind of worried that maybe he had a crush on Pinello and was going to be jealous. And I think he was a little jealous about Larsa at the beginning. But now I think he's... I don't know if he had a crush on Pinello or not. But I think maybe, you know, you you see your friends start crushing on someone. And sometimes, like, you're like, especially as a kid, you're like, well, I'm the most important person in their life. You know, I don't want to be competing. But he's grown up a little bit. He's grown up. Um... But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Ms. Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and super great. And thank you so, so much, my friend, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to get an, give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I very, very much appreciate for everything that you do. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.